Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is 36 Relationships, Part 1. In an earlier video, you created a multiplication table. In this lesson, you'll need the multiplication table, so pause the video until you have your multiplication table and also a pencil or a highlighter or a marker ready. So again, you'll need your multiplication table and something to write with. In just a few moments on your multiplication table, we're going to be marking some of the boxes to show some of the mathematical ideas that we've learned. We'll shade in the boxes that illustrate the identity property, the boxes that connect place value to multiplication, and also we'll shade in some of the boxes that help us to see the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, let's begin with your chart and your pencil or marker or highlighter. Remember that you can pause the video at any point. The first set of boxes or factors to shade in are these multiples of one. Remember you can pause the video. The next set of factors to shade in are these multiples of one. And again, you can pause the video as much as you like. The next set of factors to shade in are these multiples of 10, and also these multiples of 10. And again, you can pause the video as you like. Now I'm going to point out certain factors to shade. Shade in this 6. Also shade in the 12. Also shade in the 20. Also shade in the 30. And remember to pause the video whenever you would like. Also shade in the 42. Also shade in the 56. And also shade in the 72. After that, shade in all of these boxes that are below the ones that you have just shaded. If you count the factors that are left, you'll find that there are 36 factors. There are 36 relationships still shown on the chart. In the next video, we're going to take a look at each of those 36 relationships. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is 36 Relationships, Part 1.